Hi everyone. So flower hammering, eco printing has been all over my social media lately and I love that people are experimenting with this natural dye technique. However, many of the videos I've seen with clothing especially make me cringe a bit because I know that the print is either going to wash right out or fade to a weird brown yellow color. Beets are the example I always love to give with natural dyes and the unpredictability with color fastness. Cause beets obviously give you a beautiful deep fuchsia water. The pink doesn't stick. Beets actually give you a very light beigey color dye. And I really hate for someone to be disappointed and potentially throw away a garment because it doesn't turn out nicely. So I'm gonna share some ways you can make your flower and leaf prints more color fast. And it's also very important to note that part of the fun of natural dyeing is the surprises and experimentation. So letting go of achieving a specific result will help you enjoy the beauty of the process. But with that said, do your testing and experimentation first on something that you care less about. Okay, so tip number one, you have to use natural fibers. Don't bother with any synthetics or synthetic blends. They just won't hold the color well. And if you're hammering, you also want a fairly sturdy fabric that can handle it. Then for the dyes to last longer, you need to prepare the fabric. So a must is scouring, which means giving it a really good wash. You wanna use a very simple neutral soap, nothing with fragrances. I typically just use Dr. Bronner's soap, but even better if you wanna get into dyeing is Orvis paste or soda ash. Then I would say this is an optional step just because it is a big process and most people don't have the ingredients, but mordanting your fabric, which is a pre-treatment with something like alum will help a lot with color fastness. I'm not gonna get into how to mordant in this video because like I said, it is a big process, especially with cotton, but I'll link instructions below if you wanna do it. Okay, so then once your fabric is ready, the next important thing is selecting the right flowers and plants. Some will actually completely change color, others will wash right out, so ideally do some tests first. I've also used these two reference books, which are great if you wanna learn more about natural dyeing and put together a list of fairly available and good flowers and plants to try, but note that different varieties will give you different results. Feel free to experiment though, some results can be very surprising. Typically you will wanna look for plants and flowers that have some dark pigment to them, but you never really know what's gonna happen. And also remember to harvest your plants responsibly, so don't overpick plants, which can kill them. So next is technique. There are two popular ways to contact print flowers and leaves on fabric. Hammering is the popular one right now, and while this will give you a cleaner print, it is a lot of work and in my experience also doesn't seem to penetrate the fabric as much. Then there is a steaming technique which involves rolling your fabric and plants tightly and steaming or boiling it in a pot for a few hours. This technique allows the dyes to better absorb into the fabric and is much less physical work, but you do sacrifice a really clear print and precision, especially if you roll it without some type of barrier between the layers because the dye can soak through many layers of fabric. So it does really depend on what type of look you're going for. So I actually recently decided to try a hybrid technique to see how that worked. So first I placed my plant material and hammered it in and then it took my hand steamer to see if I could help it better set into the fabric. While this did seem to work better than just hammering, it is very time consuming. So I would only recommend it if you're doing just a small amount of plants. If you wanna do a big piece or a lot of plants though, steaming is the way to go because hammering takes so much time and effort. And then finally, to help the color stay, leave the garment as long as you can before washing to help the colors set in. Now, even with these steps, the prints will still fade and change with time. I think India Flint, who writes about this hammering technique in her book, Eco Color, has a perfect mindset about it. She says, as the prints gradually fade, they can be replaced by others, making the piece a truly trans-seasonal garment that reflects the abundance of the garden. Change the color scheme to suit your mood. And she also recommends potentially using as a way to collect memories from travels by printing little flowers and plants onto your clothing, which I think is lovely. So have fun with it. It's an amazing way to customize your clothes, but just don't go in with the expectation that these plant prints are going to be similar to the synthetic dyes in your wardrobe. You really have to embrace the imperfect, changing and experimental nature of natural dyeing. 
So I hope this video was helpful and I would love to know in the comments if you have tried this technique and what your results were like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.